дух Welcome to another exciting episode. Today, it's a video that I have had requested a ton. Probably one of the most requested videos is to do a full rundown of my 2018 hunting rig. What I'm gonna be hunting with this year, <clears throat> I'm, I've been shooting with it, but I really haven't gave you the rundown, the specs, and all of the equipment and some new equipment that I'm running this year. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So let's start out with the main chassis of this entire system. It's the Carbon RX-1, the standard 30 or 31 inch axle axle, whatever it comes out at, um, with the number three Hyper ZT cam. Um, I'm right at like 29 inches, just about. Um, this cam system's so awesome. I know I said this time and time again. Shot number twos for a little while. And uh, now these are number threes, and I think I enjoy the threes more than the twos. Just personal preference with a little different draw cycle and things of that nature. Uh, moving on to what's new this year. I'm shooting shrewd stabilizers. These are the RAID series bars. I have a seven inch in the back, I believe, and then 12 up front. Uh, pretty light system. Um, just two ounces out the front, just enough to get it steady. Um, but what I love is these giant limb saver things on the end, vibration dampeners, and they really quiet the bow, especially with it being on the front and the back. Um, side mount, just their standard side mount trudes, just screwed right into the back of the riser. Um, really love this system, um, especially with the 12 and seven. I haven't really run a back bar and a front bar on a hunting rig too much and I also have a slight degree down which I love running a slight degree down on my target rig but I've never ran one on my hunting rig before and I really really enjoy that also what's new this year is I'm running Hamski rests and when I tried this rest out first or actually it started with George Riles George Riles was like you never tried a Hamski rest I was like no I've never tried a Hamski rest why do I need to shoot one He's like, they're the best rest in the entire market. He said I would buy them again and again and again and put them on all my bows again and again and again. So when he says that, I value George's opinion very highly. When he said that, I was like, okay, that's it. Got to shoot Hamski. So I got me one of the Hunting Hybrid Pro Microtune rest. And literally in 20 minutes, I had this thing bullet holing, perfect, just a couple shots couple little tweaks I'm like just a couple tweaks it's not like I was spending all day on it at all I was like this boom sight tape made and we were shooting um, but it is a lib, limb driven um, drop away rest so for those of you that aren't familiar with limb driven when you pull the bow back the limb goes up and that string goes loose and then obviously when you shoot the limb goes back down tightening the cord on the rest and dropping the rest. So pretty cool, super consistent, uh, the limb driven. Um, not that the cable system isn't, uh, I just really enjoy the limb driven system. For the site, I'm running Excel products, the Excel AccuTouch. I've been running the same exact site for I think three or four years now. Um, same exact model, same unit, everything. Haven't even gotten a new one to change it out because getting old or anything it still works like brand new um, absolutely love this thing front facing sight tape so that when you're just holding your bow in the stand or spot and sog you can just change it real quick um, and then you actually put a sight tape on there uh, they send you with a few sight tapes or you can make your own um, and then just their standard I think this is the 41 yeah 41 millimeter or I think it stands for millimeter scope it's their bigger version um, and then with the 10 thou fiber, not the 19th out. Um, also, new peep. I'm running Hamski's peep, which is awesome for target. Um, I don't really have anything inside, uh, like a clarifier or anything for hunting. I'm just shooting it straight through. Nothing in it, no lenses. Uh, but for target, what's super exciting about this peep is the lighting conditions, since it's long and long like this, 
it shields both sides so much better than it just being open and with the lens in there, if there's sun glare or anything. So I'm super excited to try this out for Target. I haven't tried it out yet. Just got it on the hunting rig. Um, so now let's talk about specs. Like I said before, I put 80 pound limbs on this bad boy, which I've never done before, um, just because I didn't think I'd be able to handle it. But with this new cam system, it's so easy to draw. I mean, I'm shooting 80, 81 ish pounds, really, really smooth. I mean, I can shoot hundreds of, hundreds of arrows in a day, no problem. So it's just incredible that I'm getting 80 pounds. So with 80 pounds, I think I'm getting 200, 285 feet per second, or 290, I believe it was, 290 feet per second. Give or take a couple, I forget exactly. Um, but that's really fast, especially for 80 pounds with a 480 grain arrow, super heavy arrow, uh, so much power. I mean, I'm so excited to shoot a deer this year with it. Um, it should it should perform great. Um, as far as everything else, I think that's all you would want to know. But the arrow that I'm running, I forgot about the arrow, it's the five millimeter full metal jacket from Easton with a nocturnal Lighted knock, it's the X knock, I believe, green. Um, and then these are just some AE fletchings I had laying around. I wanted to try them out. Um, and then the new Rage Hypodermic. This thing's pretty legit. Um, I haven't shot anything with a Rage before. Um, I've shot something with a NAP kill zone, and it did devastating work on that. And this is somewhat similar, but this is made out of titanium and it's super super strong super sharp point and um i don't know i just heard good things about it and i'm gonna give them a try this year and uh we'll see how it goes accuracy wise there are like nothing i've ever shot before after i got this tuned up with hamsky resk i took a brand new one put it at my 70 yard mark shot a field point drilled what i was aiming at shot one of these absolutely drilled where i was aiming at from 70 yards so that's field point accuracy right on with where my field points hit, which is so awesome. Gives you so much confidence in a setup when you know everything is just perfect. So I'm sorry if this video is just kind of a technical one, um, but I'm beginning this request a ton. This is my rig. This is my hunting rig. I'm gonna be using this. Oh, I forgot. Also using just a trigger release by Trueball. It's the Center X, which they don't make anymore. I'm almost positive they don't make this. Uh, release anymore but i love it um, i'll probably keep shooting it for a while just push in that side plate it locks it in you hook it around and it's uh, super sensitive it's actually a target release i just love shooting a target release because it's a it's a little bit more adjustable than just a standard hunting one but yeah this is my setup like i just said um oh i keep remembering things i'm running the new ultra grip hoyt hunting ultra grip from ultra U archery for the first time this year. And uh, this thing's a game changer. Like you really don't think about a grip being like that important or a game changer, but it's it's really the only part of the bow that you're connected with other than a little bit of pressure on the string to your face. And when it feels right and there's just, it just feels right and it eliminates any error, any hand torque, anything along those lines because of the new design of it. Um, and then the texture. I've taken this bow out in the rain a couple times hunting when I went out in Missouri, it was rainy. And when you pick it up and you draw it back, just like in your stand testing it out, your grip does not slip. Like your hand does not slip on the grip whatsoever because of this new texture design and the carbon fiber composite material. That alone is just so major for me because running like a wooden grip or a slick plastic grip, if it gets wet and you're like hunting in the rain and you pick it up and you're just slipping all around. I know some guys put like tape on it or they put those side plates on. The only thing I don't like about the side plates is they're so wide. Like it makes your whole grip just so thick and that just allows you to like really raunch on the bow if you're not like 100% consistent every time, especially under pressure. So with this, it's not super narrow. It's not as narrow as a Matthews or anything, because I know the Matthews one is super narrow, the focus grip. So it's a little wider than that. Um, and it's got a little bit higher angle on it, which I really, really enjoy. So um, enough about the grip. I think that's it. I don't think I forgot about anything. Bow wise, equipment wise, I'm not gonna get into all my hunting stuff in this video. But 
thank you so much for watching boys and girls by the time you see this i might have broke 20,000 views i'm gonna get this edited up and uploaded i'm literally when i film this i'm like 300 away from 20,000 subscribers subscribers i might have said views subscribers so insane thank you so much all of the new patrons that are supporting this channel on patreon thank you so much i'm gonna get those targets sent out as soon as we reach that new 50 members i think there's only two to ten more people and then i'll send those out so thank you so much if you're interested in any of that check out the link below if you're interested in any of this gear i will link it below in my lancaster pro picks page and then a couple additional links so Thanks so much for watching. Catch you next time.